Okay guys, welcome to the first video in this tutorial series. In this tutorial series I'm going to teach you how to think in Unity language. It's going to let you make whatever kind of game you want with any ideas you have, how, whatever your imag imagination wants. I'm not, I'm not going to teach you how to make a platformer or shooter or a top-down game. I'm just going to mix everything in and make you, allow you to think in Unity language. So, the first we have to do the basics which is making our player. So we're going to drag and drop this monster for that PNG image I have in the description. Make a folder for it. It's going to be called graphics. And it, this is made of several images, so the sprite mode has to be multiple. Pixel per unit, don't even change it yet. We don't want to mess with that yet. It's just something that has to be constant in all your game. So color has to be true color and filter mode point no filter we don't want any filters and we're going to call it to be exactly what we have in the image in the sprite editor we go to slice automatic slice this is going to separate our sprites into individual sprites hit apply and now we have these sprites we just need to drag it and drop it here it's too small i want it bigger let's click here make it larger let it run 2 2.5 is fine you can do whatever you want and we move it here with this tool, or here in W on our keyboard. If we hit play, it's just going to be an uh, image in the background. So we need to add a rigid body to, the, to our player. This allows Unity to make physics affect them. Gravity, his mass makes him heavier or lighter. It, this affects forces. Drag is like friction. Kinematic, we don't want that. We don't want to, to mess with any of this yet. And we can freeze it on C axis so it doesn't rotate like crazy unless we want it to. We hit play now, we want to see him fall down. But we want to change that. We want him to have something to stand on. So we're just going to paste this directly. And drag it here, make it bigger. A little bit bigger. And then we need to add collision to this object and to our player. If we don't add box colliders, they will not interact. It's going to be like they're not in the same plane or just like their paintings. But well, it works now. So we're going to change the name of our player to Fishman. And we're going to tag him player. In this occasion, we have to make a script. We're going to make in the assets folder, create a new folder called scripts. And in here, we're going to create a C sharp script called player. We're going to open that script and in, we need to think. What do we need to make the player move? As I told you, the Rigi Body 2D is what allows our player to be affected by physics. So we're going to play with that. We're going to call it Rigi Body and then we have a public float which is going to, going to be his speed. Why a float? Because a float is a number that has decimal points and we want to maybe have decimal points. We don't know. So in the start method, we're going to say that Rigi Body is get component rigid body 2d this means the get component method just finds in our player whatever this is attached this component so we're gonna find this rigid body 2d good and now we go to the update method and we need to check what the player outside is doing what the person is doing so we're gonna create a new vector 2 input why vector 2 because a vector 2 takes two parameters, the x-axis and the y-axis. So we need to create a vector2 input. It's going to be a new vector2. Why new? Because it doesn't exist. We are making it. It's get axis raw, horizontal. Why get axis raw? Well, get axis raw input is a general name for everything that the player is doing. This will work on cell phones or whatever. And get axis is a part of the Unity program. The editor has these values for horizontal that right now are A and D and left and right, but we can change them later. It doesn't really matter. Input dot get axis raw to for vertical. Vertical. This is up and down, W and S. Why raw? Because we want raw numbers, which is one and minus one, not no middle values. So we're gonna pick this now. Depending on where the player, what the player is doing, we need to check if he's doing anything at all on the x-axis. If he's doing anything, it's not zero, of course. It's either one or minus one. If it's not zero, we're going to add force to a rigid body through rigid body that add force. Now, 
we're going to add a new vector to y new vector two because we need x and y and we need new because it, were, it doesn't exist we're making it so the new vector two is going to be input dot x whatever he's pressing times speed and nothing in the y axis for now now we go to our player we add the component player hit oh we need a speed 50 hit play and he's fine he can move he moves too fast I want to set a max speed this is something you can do you can skip it but it's fine float max speed now we need to check absolutely if this speed his speed is more than the max speed so absolute makes a negative value positive and leaves some positive value positive so just a read body to the velocity in the x-axis if it's more than max speed then we will set the read to velocity to a new vector 2 it's going to be max speed times input dot x which means whatever he's pressing not whatever and the same rebody to the velocity on the y-axis this is going to limit his speed to whatever we want we set here 5 in this case whatever it can be whatever number now he moves much more smoothly it's great now we're going to set his speed on the vertical axis so we're going to check again what the player is doing in the vertical equals zero if it doesn't equal zero doesn't equal zero we're going to add a force a force again a new vector to is going to be zero on the x-axis and input the y times speed on the y-axis what this does is it lets us move upwards you're gonna see it in a second he moves upwards and downwards whenever I press the buttons but he's a fish so he shouldn't be flying we're gonna change the sprite to this beautiful bar we have here we're gonna check the change the box slider with this click here change it drag it save it hit play and now our character is a bat that's flying around so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for following it. Thank you for trying it. Any questions, uh, you can do them in the comments area or go to my forums. And the next tutorial is going to be about scoring points with this bat. It's going to be pretty interesting, so stay tuned. Thank you.